how are you guys? Um, welcome to Volume 8. This is uh, Black and White. Um, actually, it's Volume 9, so whatever, but... <laughs> so, welcome, welcome, welcome to the dungeon. Um, we're going to work on some different shapes today. I um, love working on different series, and this is a part of a series that I'm working on. And uh, I'm making things kind of like off-center and stuff and learning how to, uh, um, to perfect that. So I know it's been a while since I've done one of these volumes, but uh, so much has happened. I got uh, reinstated at my job, so that's good. But we're only working like three days a week, which is even, you know, that's cool because it is May and things are still crazy. I still don't leave the house without a mask and gloves and, you know, it's up, up here. Uh, people are really, you know, sticking by those rules, it, it seems, at least to me, which is good. Enough about the pandemic. Um, by the time this video is up and running, Alex will be here. In fact, he's coming tonight and I'm so excited that uh, I'm going to spend the day with him tomorrow. So I wanted to make a couple of these um, little videos today. So let's get started with the first one. I hope you enjoy and we'll see you afterwards. All right, here we go. I'm gonna make this uh, with a white base just because um, I, have a, I have more white than I do black at the moment. So all I have are little tiny sticks of black, but I have a whole bunch of them. So I, uh, I'm gonna use those for my secondary color here. And of course, it's just black and white today, so I'm going to make a long, long line of little tiny spacer beads just all nestled up together and warm. And every time I add one, it just kind of melts into the one before it. And then I'll go down and start just to gently roll it out using that cooler edge as my guide. I love that. That's a great technique. And it, it, it helps because you can get there faster, you know, when you have one cool side and the other side is hot. Um, so I'm just cleaning up the edges here. And we're going to make this like really off center, funky looking bead. This has kind of come out of uh, a whole bunch of different uh, things that I've have worked on in the past. Um, my constellation series, my math series, all sorts of stuff. But this is like, I don't know, it's this a little fun one that I came up with. And uh, what I'm basically doing is just adding a big water glass on either side. And to make something like this, it's really more about being able to control the heat at all times without losing your shape. Um, so that's pretty much what I'm doing here. So I have to make sure that the glass is warm at all times while I'm working. And that allows me to keep building it up. And when you're working with a color like white, um, if you haven't flame worked, then white is just one of those really soupy runny colors that it will just sneak up on you and all of a sudden it's like melting everywhere. So you have to be really aware of um, melting that white in and knowing when it's about to melt. <clears throat> anyway, I'm jumping ahead of myself and really getting into the white, but um, what I did here is I added a, a much larger like dot of white on both sides of where I want more of a bulge to be more kind of stretched out on both sides of this bead and then I'm taking the back of my butter knife and squeezing in that waistline a little bit more to give me the shape I'm looking for which is this kind of weird thing it's like uh, I'm not sure but it it's like an animal I think I, I don't know what this is but uh, I'm always kind of wondering like where does this come from but uh, let's uh, get into uh, um, the pattern here now. Our basic shape is done, and we're going to start with some black dots. The black and white. I just love black and white. 
obviously you know that because I'm making a, you know, I got all these black and white videos, but it's just, they're so crisp and they're just really great to work with. I do have my moments of uh, lots of color though. And I do like to use color. It just depends on what it is. So I'm constantly running out of this black. Anyway, I use my butter knife, which is like one of my best friends in the, uh, in the studio down here. One of my favorite tools. And I'm just gently pushing down on those dots. Now I'm putting on some more dots as we're going from black to white. So there's also a little bit of masking going on here too, which is cool. Then I get just a little bit smaller. Let's start adding little dots. I don't know what it is, but I keep thinking it's all about the numbers. It's all about the numbers when I make these. But you know, I'm not even counting, so I don't even know why I would say that. <laughs> it's kind of strange. Okay, so I have my little pattern on the side. <clears throat> adding a little bit more. This is when things, of course, start to look like, oh, like some kind of an animal or a critter or some kind of a space thing or an alien or something because, you, you know, you put that black and then the white and then the black dot on and boom, you, all of a sudden you got yourself an eyeball, no matter what. So we're gonna finish this up by adding some kind of sprigs of white coming off. Like it could be um, appendages of this possible animal. And I'm just gonna, you know, start playing off that for a little bit until I get to the size that I want. And I do like to, uh, you know, I love the black and white stripes. You know, who doesn't? So that's, I, I, I'm going to do that here. We're going to do some black and white um, little caps on top of all of those. Yeah, these are fun to make. When you start to learn how, uh, you know, it'll kind of let, let yourself go a little bit more, but in a very controlled way because you know how to control the glass. It's really, things get pretty cool and fun too, you know. I had no idea that, you know, this is what I was gonna be making today. And I am actually doing this talk today as well because, uh, you know, I got all excited about this guy and I feel like talking, so, you know, I'm, I'm just talking to talk now. Anyway, we're almost done, but at the last second, I felt like, you know, it's like, just too straight on the top and bottom. It's missing something. So I had to add um, one more little leg off the, uh, the bottom side there. I can't wait to see this guy. He's gonna look so cute. Yeah, it could be like a, a space monkey or dog or something. Oh my God, yeah, it might be, it might be, we'll see. I'm not gonna put it in a crazy environment because at this point, I'm not really sure what that would be. And um, uh, those, are, uh, those are special. Those are just saved for the episodes. So in order to see a great background and uh, environment for one of my pieces you have to check out the the, uh, the episodes anyway we're done look at that guy cool all right well sorry about the lighting but what can i say uh, let's check out uh, what we made all right, so here it is. Looks good. Okay, we'll clean it out and uh, look at it in a better light, shall we? Okay, so here I am. I have my Dremel tool with uh, a diamond drill bit and I gently just 
clean out all the bead leaves that I can from the inside of the bead, making sure the bead is always in the water and the tool is not. And voila, we are finished.